Dad out today shows that food prices are exploding. Anyone who's been to a grocery store already knew it, but what is the Prime Minister's solution? He wants to raise taxes on the farmers that produce our food and the truckers that ship it, which means more expensive groceries at the grocery store. It's part of his plan to triple, triple, triple the tax on heat, gas, and groceries. The Prime Minister loves to jet around at other people's expense, burning fossil fuels. Will he show some decency and some compassion for the people he's harmed and cancel this April 1st tax hike? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, when I sat down with farmers a few weeks ago to hear their concerns and to talk with them about how we're moving forward, they expressed to me their real concerns and, quite frankly, their leadership in the fight against climate change and their leadership on protecting the environment. Uh, and that's why I underline to them and to all Canadians uh, that uh, the leader of the opposition is simply wrong in his approach uh, on, on not fighting climate change. The price on pollution puts more money back in the pockets of Canadians while keeping our air clean. Indeed, a family of four in the opposition leader's riding received over $185 from our government in January, thanks to the Climate Action Incentive. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. $185 won't even cover a week's groceries for the average family after food prices have exploded under this Prime Minister. If he thinks our farmers are doing such a great job fighting climate change as I do, then why does he have to tax them again? Yeah. Uh, with a big tax, fat tax hike. First. It's worse. It's not just food he's taxing. He wants to increase home heating costs and gas prices, a full 14 cents a litre tax, a tax that he wants to triple, triple, triple. Will he cancel his planned April 1st tax hike so that Canadians can afford to eat, heat and house themselves? Speaker, again, uh, as of April, the, carbon, uh, the climate action incentive uh, will uh, increase uh, in the member opposites riding. They will, a Canadian family of four will receive $244 in his riding. Uh, we've made that because even as we move forward on putting a price on pollution, we are putting more money back in the pockets of Canadian families. Because Canadian families know that we do have to fight climate change while making sure things are more affordable. That's why we stepped up on issues like dental care and rental care, two issues that the Conservatives voted against. Now he calls single mothers polluters because they buy groceries. He calls farmers polluters because they use fuel. He calls seniors polluters because they heat their homes. This from a guy who we just found out, one of his four government-funded mansions spent $8,000 a month what? on utilities to heat the pool and the sauna. He flew 17 times in one month, including one 10-minute flight, because he didn't want to drive an hour from Waterloo to Toronto. Wow. Why doesn't the Prime Minister stop his high-carbon, high-tax hypocrisy That's and right. cancel this tax? Yeah. Yeah. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, Canadians are facing challenging times right now because of incredibly challenging global contexts. Uh, whether it's the war in Ukraine, whether it's the end of the pandemic and disruptions of supply chain, uh, there are lots of issues and inflation facing Canadians right now. But instead of offering solutions, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, the Leader of the Opposition uh, plays up partisan personal attacks. On this side of the House, we're focused on delivering for Canadians, delivering a GST rebate that helped uh, 11 million Canadians last fall, delivering rental benefits and dental care that Conservatives voted against. Mr. Speaker, we will continue to be there for Canadians while he plays 